It feels like it's been a long time coming. I know it's been long for Michael. He and I met and sat down 2017 in New York and he told me his story. And when you hear a few of those key details, the racers showing up at the end of the airport to help get him on the airplane. Every little bit of it along the way, I thought, there's a movie, there's a movie, there's a movie. And it really kind of all fell together in the screenwriting. Well, it's, it, it's really challenging because it's his story, it's real, people know it, and you want to you wanna be faithful to it, but in the same time, you know, you are trying to get what could be a 10-hour movie or a mini-series or a streaming series into movie length. So I had to make some tough choices about what could stay, what you know, had to go, and ultimately, it was the spirit of what Michael went through, what Arthur went through, what the team went through, sticking to that, figuring out how to tell that story. I think Mark was born to play Michael. And there was a moment in pre-production in the Dominican when I was there when Michael and Mark met for the first time. And within five minutes, they were in an ocean kayak. And I happened to be swimming in the waves and they kayaked past me. And I just, I yelled at them, we've been waiting three years for this, just to see these two guys together. Because Mark totally grabs the spirit of Michael and he kind of lives it and the way he looks at Arthur and gets down on the ground with him. Mark had two thoughts when we started shooting. I want to sleep on the street with Arthur and I want to say goodbye to him in the airport and I want to get down on the floor with him. And those are the two scenes that kill me every time. Yeah. The, thing I, the thing that I set out to do when I heard this story was let's not make a dog movie. Let's make a sports movie. Let's make a movie that anybody can go see. Two guys can go because it's a cool sports movie. I mean, the, I found it on ESPN. Um, and, and let's have a sports movie with a dog in it. And I thought that that was a different approach than a Disney kind of movie with a digital dog, you know, that smiles and laughs. And Yukai is amazing. And you feel in the theater every time they cut to his close up you just kind of feel it all kind of rise up. So I think a sports movie with a dog was kind of the, what I wanted to do, and I think that we got that.